Okay, Trisha, so let's look at this monkey. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this up in camera raw. The white balance looks a little blue to me, so I'm going to just use this to try to um, just make this white a little bit better. Um, now, I'm assuming when you took this image that you had some mixed lighting going on. And I'm saying that because I see when I try to white balance one side, um, I start to get like some color cast here. So I don't know if you were using natural light and then also had some artificial light or you even had an overhead light on. Um, but that's something you want to avoid with product photography because um, it's really hard to white balance for two different light sources. So you want to keep your light source the same. So you either want to use all natural light coming in from the windows or you want to use all artificial light coming from an artificial light source. My preference is um, usually if I'm doing a lot of photos, I want to use artificial light because you have a lot more control over it. Um, but I know some people, I mean, natural light is great um, and it's wonderful if you just have a house where it's just I actually have, um, I'm really lucky I have these huge windows in my kids' playroom, and so I always have um, a ton of nice, art, um, nice natural light coming in there, but if you're in a situation where you don't have that, it's better to um, start playing with an artificial light setup um, because you're going to find that it's going to give you a lot more control over the images that you create. Um, so now that I went ahead and did that, um, and I know that these were old images too, using something like a gray card going forward is really going to help you with white balancing as well. So we're going to go ahead and open this image up in, in Photoshop then. And now what we need to do is we need to brighten this image some. And since this is on a back, um, a white black, bleh, 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 can't talk today, a white background, we're going to go ahead and we are going to... Um, Play pop whites. Okay. And so that kind of helped us pop the whites out a little bit. It's a little bit too strong, though, over the little monkey. So we're just going to take our brush tool. We're going to make a black, we're going to use a black brush. So to reset your, your swatches, you press D on your keyboard, and then when we press X, that's going to switch it to black. Um, and now see this mask is white so to hide we paint in black and I have my brush it's a soft brush at about 17% opacity and we're just going to paint back over the monkey to bring back um, especially over here in this area to bring back a little bit of his um, his detail um, so you can see now we have like some weird stuff going on but we'll fix that so now um, we'll do white and whites and we're going to keep our brush at about 17% opacity. And we're going to whiten over these whites a little bit. Now, I'm assuming for this image, you're probably going to crop it um, a little bit. You're probably going to crop it in a little bit. Um, whoops. I didn't want. Okay. Let me move this up a little bit. You're probably going to crop it in a little bit, so I'm just going to focus on the areas that would actually be show showing in the image. Um, now you have a color cast <coughs> that we talked about. So it's a yellow color cast, so what we're going to do is we're going to play Bye Bye Yellows. All of these Bye Byes are for color cast. So if you're seeing colors that are not there, like this one's yellow, um, what we can do is we can get rid of that color cast um, by using this action. And there's actually a little bit of, it's like a little too yellow here even. Um, so that will help us get rid of that color cast then. And then what we are going to do is we are going to do a little bit of a contrast boost to this little monkey here. Um, just a tiny bit. This is a little bit too strong. We're going to pull it down to about 25%. About we just want to give like a little bit of contrast. Um, and that kind of helps make the background just look a tiny bit whiter. You have some like, the edges are a little weird. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite tricks. And it's simply just painting white. Um, 
so what you're going to do is you're going to select your brush tool. Um, we're going to keep it about 17% opacity. Now, when I have the brush tool selected, I'm going to press Alt if you have a PC or Option if you have a Mac down on your keyboard. You're going to you're going to sample the color that you want to paint, and we're just going to paint over these areas that still look a little weird. And we're doing it a light opacity, um, but it's just going to help these areas that still look just a tiny bit odd. Now, if you, it looks like too you're shooting on some kind of fabric, so I would suggest shooting on like something like a poster board if you're going to shoot on white because it's nice and smooth. And there you have it. So then the final thing I always like to run on my images is crisp finish. We're going to go ahead and run that on this little monkey dude. And um, that's one I like to zoom in for because you can really see um, the changes. And we can even bring this up just a tiny bit more. Um, about 75%. And there we go. So if we look at the before and after here, um, I think it's a vast improvement. So there you have it. Hope that helps. Bye.